Hi there. This is a um, reaction video to another reaction video to Heart Emojis by Tom McDonald, um, Brandon Hart, and Nova Rockefeller by Kristen what's her last name? Kelly. I've seen another one of hers and uh, I think it's two of hers. Not three of hers. All the ones that were on Tom McDonald and uh, She's another person that um, her reactions are very um, wholesome, very, um, very, uh, you know, some of the reactions out there are so uh, animated and so, um, you know, it's like half of it's just acting, you know, you know go, the big, blah, blah, all, all the guys, you know, they're, they're, not all the guys, but most of the guys are just, you know, they're, a little too gung ho and a little too um, uh, disingenuous. You know what I mean? They're not listening to the music. They're not listening to the words. They're looking at themselves on the screen, wondering how they appear. She's not. She's genuine. I left the stove on. So there's food for you to eat that I hope you choke on. Well, what a pleasant thing. And I wash right? your clothes with bleach. I'm <laughs> sorry, I didn't yeah, expect that farm, to be the next line. <laughs> eat your space, that's for sure. I have to get back to it. Like, she must know peace and quiet around there. But I love peace and quiet. I left the stove on. So there's food for you to eat that I hope you choke on. And I wash your clothes with bleach. I'm sorry, I didn't expect that to be the next line. <laughs> Eat that I hope you choke on. And I wash your clothes with bleach. I left my phone on. Before I left, I cracked your screen. And I left a note on. My Twitter you should read. It says, I'm not sorry for the things I said. You know you deserved it. All the times you wish that I was dead. Yes. Yes, I'm not sorry for a damn thing I've said. You've deserved it. And this is this is the perfect breakup song already, you guys. From someone who hasn't even been in a recent breakup. I can still relate this shit, y'all. All the times you wish that I was dead. So can I, Kristen. I haven't been in a relationship in years. And this trigger the first time I heard this, you'll you'll see one of my reaction videos, the initial one to the still. How it uh, can bring up uh, something in my past and make it seem like it just happened yesterday, and uh, that's the beauty of music. It can trigger um, trigger a, an inner uh, inner angel or an inner devil. You know, it depends on who what you got in there, and um, uh, and it can bring forth uh, uh, beautiful memories and some awful memories as well, but. Isn't that just beautiful to think that uh, a song sung by someone you've never met can hit home? What else in life can do that? You know, I mean, think about it. Ed, you made me feel worthless. I'm not sorry for the way I was. And I hope you're hurting. Now I know that I was just in love with a person. I'm sick and tired of being... And sometimes it's okay to realize that you just kind of really messed up and you were in love with kind of a shitty person. That's okay. Because Tom was in love with a shitty person and now he's got a... <laughs> I'll agree with that to a point, but uh, knowing that and continuing on with that, I have a problem. Nova. I mean, that's one hell of a story in a comeback. I know that I was just in love with a person. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of your bull. The cash I blew on you would have put diamonds on my whole wrist. Honestly, I'm glad that it's over. I hated your friends. I'm happy that I made you my ex. Yeah. Y'all ever break up with somebody and you think about the amount of time and money you spent on that person and think if you had all that back, where would you be? 
that doesn't matter. Be looking at where you're going. I'm just saying. My whole wrist. Honestly, I'm glad that it's over. I hated your friends. I'm happy that I made you my ex. Yeah. I've been waiting to delete your number out of my phone. I know it's you if the color's unknown. You've you already got, got leaves on your screen. I don't, don't need those explosions. Oh, yeah. I ain't gonna play with your teenage emotions. See, you're better than me. He said, I've been waiting for you to blow. He's like, I've been, I know if it comes up unknown, it's you. But you better than me because I've changed my number and go. I've gone ghost after every relationship. Y'all don't want to be in my life. Bye, honey. You got a short fuse, and I don't need those explosions. I ain't gonna play with your teenage emotions. Welcome to the end, whoa. The best of life again, whoa. I'm not yours. You don't know me no more. Heart emojis, get it through your head, whoa. I wish you were dead, whoa. This is perfect because it's like, okay, you made me feel worthless and down below. Now put that shoe on your foot and see how you like it and see how that feels. I'm going to have to say this, um, Kristen. You have the best backdrop by far of any of these reaction videos that I've seen. I mean, that's what I look at when I look at my back window. I see the, you know, the, the woods and the quiet and the peace or whatever. I don't see, you know. The, uh, the, um, like, it's like my, uh, like, not the, it's complete opposite of mine, let's just say this. I have nothing to offer in my backyard. I'm lying on my bed because I'm too old and too lazy to set up a better situ situation. That's all there is to it. This is comfortable. It works for me. I can reach the laptop. I can see you on my TV. And it works. Because he's got all the bragging rights in the world, y'all. <laughs> I see you like my Instagram post. Leave a thumb up on every status I wrote. If I were you, then I would probably go ghost. Does anybody does anybody realize how cool this Brandon Hart is? I mean, he's just uh, the vibes I get from him are just so. Uh, he's just got such a cool rhythm. I mean, if you see his videos of the wave, there with the wave, and there's another one that I really like too, um, the more recent one, and. Uh, him, uh, uh, he's just got this um, walk and talk that's cool. You know what I mean? He's just a. Uh, I have known men like him, and I've partied with men like him, and they're great fun to be with and around. And uh, I'm just so glad that there's a different, a, a more wholesome, natural vibe that's coming out that's not contrived that's not uh glossed over or hyped or you know my god in the rap world it's sickening what's going on there i mean it's a it's, it's, it's so commercialized it's like i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna come right out Khaled. everyone he brings out and everything he brings out is i'm nothing against the man but it he is the epitome of the business I mean, he he is literally the um the uh, uh, the crown that I'm complaining about, so to speak, because he's bringing these new artists in and they're getting immediate recognition, millions of views, because he's got the machinery to help them be seen. Ninety ninety percent of them fade away because what they what they sing is just crap and it has no it has no standing. It, it has no it doesn't stand the test of time. You know what I mean? Good music stands the test of time. Listen to music like you listened ten years ago. It still stands the test of time. 90% of the music that's out there does not stand the test of time. It's crap. This will. I know it. I know it. I know music. I know rock and roll. I know folk. I know country. I know rap. I know I know every genre, and I know what will last. Because I know music. I, don't, I have no discrimination against uh, genre. I only have discrimination against crap. If it's crap, I'll call it out. I've totally forgotten what I was uh, trying to make a point about. but. Um, Let's just watch. How's it feel to never ever let go? Go. You think you're a snack, but I'd rather have chips. You think making a voodoo doll's gonna make You think you're a snack, but I'd rather have chips, y'all. I love Brandon and I'm loving him more and more every video. <laughs> let go, go. You think you're a snack, but I'd rather have chips. You think making a voodoo doll's gonna make you a witch. You think grabbing on a man's gonna make you rich. And you ain't cute enough to act like a Vibes, 
say you ain't cute enough to act like a bitch. <laughs> no, the man's gonna make you rich, and you ain't cute enough to act like a. You got a stock of vibes I should have known by your eyes, girl. No one really smiles that much, and I probably should have known it by the way that you lie, cause. I don't even like me that much. You red flags. Time to accept that you ain't. He said you lie so much. You made me realize that I don't even love myself as much as you say you love me. <laughs> I cuz I don't even like me that much. You red flags. Time to accept that you ain't good enough to get my text back. I know what's good for me. You're you ain't good enough to get my text back. Y'all preach that in your head. And the next time you are presented with a situation as such. Don't text back. Don't feed into the bullshit and don't answer that damn phone call. Lord. Flags, time to accept that. Uh, move on. That's if you're in a white knuckle situation, move on. Because it ain't gonna get better. So <laughs> and get out of it. I mean nothing is worth no one is worth your unhappiness. And I mean your happiness is more important than not at the cost of anybody, you know what I mean? But at, we, I think um, women especially get into this mindset that uh, there's no way out. I've been there as a man. I've been there too, and I know in relationships. But I, I, honestly, my, my last relationship, which was the ultimate relationship of destruction, I missed a lot of signs, or I ignored a lot of signs, and I ignored the red flags and things. I ignored them all. I just, you, know, you get too caught up in your in the relationship. You're too caught up in your, your, you know, it's most of it is just lust. You know, it's not really love. But you get you get confused, and you get. Um, I've already spoken about this today. This this video keeps on evoking uh, every reaction video I see. I get I start thinking. I don't want to sound repetitive. I know I've spoken of this in another video, but. Um, I was gonna say just, just as well. <laughs> you ain't good enough to get my text back. I know what's good for me. You're a death trap. And I'll be dead before I ever take you back. Welcome to the end. Oh, the best you'll ever get. I felt that and I'd be dead before I take you back. Yes. Back. Welcome to the end. Oh, the best you'll ever get. Oh, I'm not yours. You don't know me. No more heart emojis. Get it through your head. Tom so much. <laughs> I thought I was weird for biting people. <laughs> I was just calling you say you were one of people. You hope you hear your phone. Cause I was just calling to say you. Yeah. Yo, I love Nova and Tom so much. <laughs> I thought I was weird for biting people. <laughs> I was I just you were here for calling what to say. Sorry, dear. I just can't. Uh, I can't. I can't do really this. I love Nova and Tom so much. I thought I was weird for biting people. <laughs> I thought you were here. Cool. I mean, I'm gonna have to find out. I'm gonna have to see if they can. I don't know. I don't know what it. I'm, I'm unsure what you were saying there, and I want to know what you're saying there because I'm not sure if you're saying that you had it with people or if you. You. Nova said, let me get on all this too, because thank you, it was the end. Thank you, honey. Let me show you how it should be done. I love it. I love it so much. Welcome to the end. How good does it feel to finally get to this point in your life with a past relationship like don't text me don't call me leave me alone i've done way better without you and i don't want you back unless i'm dead and then i still don't want you back mm. Heart emojis. <laughs>
Yo. Why do I always pause it at the end? What is wrong with me? Now I want to go back and hear more because I don't feel like I really heard it. <laughs> I love you guys. Y'all have a wonderful day. Okay, and uh, I guess I'll end this as she ended. With a smile.